Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be telling you guys about two amazingly, stupidly, hilarious, obviously so amazing stories. You're never gonna forget them. God, I've never been so sarcastic in my life. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys two shitty stories, but I want to tell you them because I think they're gonna be decent to listen to, I guess, or maybe you're just gonna be bored out of your mind and it's okay because I'll be playing Skywars and you guys only care about PvP anyway, right? Ha! <laughs> uh, why does this happen? So actually, I'm gonna start with probably the most interesting one of all. The other one is just really like something completely random and stupid that I thought would be a nice contribution to this video. But anyway, so I experienced for the first time in my whole life a fight. Dun dun dun! God, I'm so annoying. I wonder why people watch me. I make like stupid sounds all the time. Ready? Watch this. Oh shoot, that almost killed me. Hey, 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 calm down. Calm. <laughs> okay, so anyways, I experienced my first fight ever that I, I mean I've seen a lot of fights obviously in movies I've seen some couple of fights, you know through a f phone device and movies are fake punches, right? But on a phone device whenever people are actually recording like real fights I've seen one of those too or a couple of those for sure, but I have never actually stood in front literally in the whole circular motion where everyone is just surrounding these two people uh, just them punching each other never has that ever happened to me until the other day but I actually can't remember when that was but it wasn't ouch it wasn't too long ago <gasps> <gasps> so what happened wow it's literally taking me two deaths to actually start this this stupid thing it was a typical Tuesday afternoon walking from 6th to seventh period usually throughout that time I'm walking from the freshman center because for some stupid ass reason my class is in the freshman center all the way to the art hallway because study hall is my last period and I have it in the art classroom I don't freaking know don't don't ask me okay just just listen through yeah usually I pass the hallway at first so that I can go pick up or just like meet up with Val so we can walk to class together because we go to the same class and that's what usually happens right so I'm just walking through like a totally normal person trying to get across the hallway and all of a sudden I hear a little well not I, I don't hear anything I feel a breeze you know up against my shoulder and I'm like uh, what has happened just keep this in mind guys I'm a really short person I'm five foot one and I personally in the hallways am scared of walking in the hallways like I genuinely always have my arms up because I'm scared of someone like accidentally elbowing me in the face because they're so freaking tall like even the freshmen even the freshmen are like twice my size which is really stupid so now that you have that picture in mind I feel a little breeze up against my shoulder and I'm like uh uh girl I'm out of here so I start like walking away oh hey that's rude dude it's rude. Alright, so I'm freaking out already, and, and I haven't even seen anything happen yet. But next thing you know, I see this this kid walk up to the the other kid. We're gonna call them Kid One and Kid Two to to be easier to recognize. Hold up, I'm concentrating, guys. Ah, leave me alone! <gasps> no, not that. This. God, I don't know why I'm sucking so bad. Sorry, guys. I'll get back into my groove right now. Right. So. I'm having a fantastic time walking around. Well, just kidding. I'm at the point where I'm already scared. So I'm having a terrible time being completely scared. And next thing you know, you see kid one go up to kid two. And he just pulls him by the shoulder. And then kid two is like, yo, what the fuck? And then kid two pushes kid one into this girl who is like on the completely other side of the hallway. Just being a completely innocent woman in this whole wide world. And then kid, whichever kid got pushed, I think it was kid two. Now, uh, I don't really know who's kid one and who's kid two. But the kid who got pushed into the freaking girl was really pissed off. He was like, yo, you just made me hurt this girl for like absolutely no reason, you bitch. So he goes back up to kid two. And the next thing you know, oh my God, he messaged me. What the fuck are you doing? Why do I suck? Nah, we good. 
We good. So then kid two is like trying to have a good time and and like be like, yo, I'm better than you because I just pushed you. Ha. <laughs> but then kid one punches kid two. And then shit goes down. Oh, just like it's going down now. Easy game. Da, 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 da. Get out. No one invited you to my party, punk. I think I should stop the story right here for a little second, even though I've stopped it probably like a hundred times. And I just need to let you guys know that this was all happening in front of the police officer's office. Also, just keep in mind that my school is not one of those schools that's constantly having a bunch of fights and having like a bunch of disturbances and whatnot. My school is really innocent. So uh, like something like this happen to, happening to me isn't only scary and new. Well, actually that is it. It's, it's scary and new and, and, and because it is new and, it, and it's scary. So I think that's it. <gasps> Whoa. That's scary. I've been experiencing so many scary things. Jesus, how did that guy do that? Hey, don't do that. That was rude. This is where I win. This is where I make my fashion statement. Oh, wait. There's another guy. I had no idea. So please, please don't like judge me if I if I make this story seem a whole lot more aggressive or like intense than it really was because honestly I I'm just saying from not only one from what I remember but also like dude this is new to me like I I, I, I couldn't even believe it was happening right in front of my eyes you know what I mean okay so this is all happening in front of the cop's office this guy gets shoved into the wall right by uh, kid uh, kid one kid one shoves kid two into the wall kid two is like yo shut the hell up punches in the neck because I, I feel like he was going for the face but i guess he kind of missed and then like he was kind of like at a choking position so he got like punched like right there like it was really i don't really know how to explain from just like holding myself but you, I, i'm sure you can just guess i or maybe you could just ignore it and just keep listening to my story fashion statement oh yes uh, the story, it, it pretty much just keeps going on like that, you know, a little punch over here, a little punch over there, shoved to the wall. Next thing you know, they're like pushing up each other against in the wall, pushing up, it, it, that didn't make any sense. They're pushing each other up against the wall there, that makes a little bit more sense. And of course, this probably occurred in like, a uh, lifespan! <laughs> easy dude, easy, easy dude. What an easy game, bro. Bro, my name is Kyle Tiff, yo. Yo, chillax. Ah! I have no idea what that sound was. Whatever. So, yeah, they're like up in the wall doing their thing. And literally, I'm just standing still like probably like a foot away from... Okay, maybe not a foot. Maybe like three, four feet away from them. Literally just staring at them like this. And of course, I start looking around me, and I see a, a ton of other people surrounding them and looking at them like this. I think everyone was just like a little bit scarred because literally, it, it's just a typical Tuesday. Who would have freaking thought that someone was just gonna get fought, dude? Ha, 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 ha. Honestly, that's the only times I'm ever good at PvP when I'm literally just saying random stuff all over the place. Anyway, completely disregarding what's going on around them. Uh, they're just literally up on the wall, you know, slapping each other pretty much. And eventually, right, the friends start coming over and they're like, yo, what the fuck are you doing, bro? But but they're not actually like stopping them. Like they're still they're still fighting each other, doing their thing. And this guy is a freaking God at pop PvP, isn't he? Get out, get out. No! <laughs> but the next thing you know, I see my friend, not Val, this is not Val, I see my friend who I was also going to see in my class that I was about to go to, and she goes into the fight and pulls kid one basically by the ear. She wasn't actually, but like in my head, it looks exactly like that because I feel like she was, she was pretty much acting like his mom, like, ah! Kid one, what are you doing? <laughs> she doesn't sound like that either, but I just feel like I just feel like she just looked 
like the mom figure, you know, she was like going in and saying, yo, what the fuck are you doing, you stupid kid? Kind of like what stupid children's moms do most of the time. Get out. Get out. Get out! Yeah, that works. <gasps> Easy! Alright, so literally I've taken 20 minutes to tell you guys this story. So yeah, pretty much my friend goes in, pretty much stops everything. Uh, it's kind of funny because the other kid was like, Yo, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Why, why aren't you fighting, bro? Oh, what a, uh, what a bad word. <laughs> Obviously, I am a... <laughs> no way that just happened. Obviously, I am a... That is the freaking most hilarious thing in the world. I didn't even see it happen. I just saw the name go down. I just saw it all go down. I thought it was hilarious. Oh, uh, wow. Anyways, so pretty much that was the end of the story. Uh, I was a little bit scarred. But then after all that stupid stuff happened, I look around and I see one of my friends. And I was like, yo, what the fuck? Did you just see that? And he tells me that he literally saw the cop. And the cop wasn't like didn't even realize that there was a fight. And instead, she was pushing a trash can. Did this guy just... Yeah, that guy just fell. Okay, fantastic. There's someone coming up. Oh, this is the last guy. Excuse me. Uh-uh, sir. That is not allowed in this house. Oh. My. Goodness. <laughs> How do they even place blocks down here? What? What the heck? How does this even happen? Anyways, on to our next story because it's already been 20 minutes of me talking about literally stupidness. So in my in my English class, we started doing poems and all this stupid crap. And I don't know why this question came up, but it did. And she was like, do all prisons have bars? Like basically asking or, or no, do all cages have bars? Kind of like that cage right there. But imagine if it had no bars. Obviously, like, you know, physically, just looking at it, uh, obviously, they have to have bars if they want to be a cage. Like, that is the, that is the definition. Maybe it's not a definition, but I, I feel like it should be, right? Wow. Good fight. And, uh, ready, ready, ready. This is the funny part about this whole story that I'm about to tell you guys. She asked us that question. And then I looked around, all right? I looked around the whole classroom and I was like, yo, what the fuck? I'm stuck in a fucking cage and this has no freaking bars. Wow. That was a good throw. Yo, punk. And uh, yeah, that's my whole story. Uh, you would have thought, you would have thought that, you know, all cages have bars, but then you look around school and then you realize that my teammate is literally stupid for jumping down in here. But it's okay because I guess... Yeah, you see, stupid teammate? You guys are annoying. Thank you. That was pretty much the whole story right there. I, I thought it was going to be funnier. And I was like going to make a whole video about it. I was going to say... Well, I wasn't going to talk about how, how that was a funny experience or whatever. I was actually going to make a whole cut come video talking about uh do all cages have bars and then make it like super corny or whatever but uh yeah i decided to just put it into this one and then uh make a stupid ass video uh yeah <laughs> honestly now i i kind of feel bad for even making this video i feel like the, the the video was entertaining and whatnot but uh honestly i i promised you guys like good funny stories even though i was being completely sarcastic and uh, I didn't, I didn't successfully give that to you guys, so I, I, I apologize somewhat. Get out of here! No, 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 no! How did you kill me? How? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I don't know. Freaking tell me if you've ever seen a fight. Freaking tell me if you think school is a cage without bars. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys hopefully in the next one. I don't know why I feel so hyper right now, but. Uh, Hope you all enjoy it and goodbye. Downtown we let it go. Sunset high and I'm putting up.